Hi, I'm Daryl Sigler from FES Tanks, and we are specialist self bunded tank manufacturers and providers for people who need to store fuel, hydrocarbons, oil, aviation fuel, anything from a thousand litres up to a hundred thousand litres plus. And I'm here today to give you a bit of insight into an aviation fueling project we did in conjunction with NQ Petro, who are our Queensland distributors for FES tanks. And what they've done is they've fitted out six aviation tanks. Uh, they are aviation fire rated tanks, fire guard tanks. So what that means is each individual tank has a four hour fire rating and they are also specced up specifically for the aviation industry. And what we have is Jet A1 fuel and Avgas fuel as well. So we've got FireGuard aviation tanks that are um, safe fuel levels around 6,900 liters. And then we have two aviation tanks that are around the 20,000 liter mark. And yeah, I mean, we've got an amazing piece of engineering here today, and we just want to talk you through that process. Uh, I've got Cameron here, who's a workshop manager from NQ Petro. And yeah, I mean, this is an impressive bit of kit. So Cameron, thanks for being with us today. I mean, as I understand it, there's two processes to this whole working unit. So yeah, I mean, if you could just talk us through these processes, um, what do you want to start with first, do you think? Oh, how about we do tanker filling to, yep, so road, road tanker to this tank. I'll tell you what, I'm just tank. gonna jump out of the way so Cameron can talk us through that. Yeah, so. Uh, so basically the process is road tanker will come in, pull yep. alongside the tank. There's a selective cam lock here for either jet or avgas. Um, he'll connect to that. There's valves that he needs to ensure are in the correct configuration. So he'll connect on here. That valve's in the correct configuration. This pump here, which is an Ebdray V20, will draw the product from the road tanker yep. into the pump. Out of the pump up here through a Parker dual filtration system. Out of the filters through another valve, which is also set up to direct fuel straight through here back into the fill line to the tank. Okay, so that sounds amazing. So we've got product coming in through the fill here into this unit, down through here, up through the filters, and then back with product going into the tank itself. Okay. Now, just to be clear here as well, because these are aviation tanks, the primary tank, the inner tank, is uh, stainless steel. and It's actually got a sloping floor on it as well, um, because if there's any sort of water condensation within the tank, the water will fall to the lowest point, and we have a draining mechanism as well. Yep, there's a thief pump mounted on the wall up there. So that enabled us to keep the product in pristine condition. Excellent. So, okay, we filled up the tank. We filled... Filled up. Pilot comes in in his aircraft, yep. pulls up over here somewhere, uh, gets out. He'll need to check once again that the valves are in the correct orientation. Um, so once he's done that, he'll, well, he can then uh, start the pump up through the, through the right channels, pressing of the start the pump button here. So what happens then, the pump will fire up, it then draws fuel from the pickup side of the tank through this valve into the pump. Out of the pump through a flow switch here. So this flow switch will also detect if there's no flow within the system, if the, if the nozzle was to pump off or if something was to fail, that will shut down after a set period of time so we don't destroy the pumps. Fuel comes through here, through the filters again, through this valve, which has been changed in direction. So it's now coming up here through the meter, out of the meter, through a flow control valve and into this hose reel, through the hose reel and out to a nozzle, which the pilot can then take out to the aircraft, turn it on, fill his fuel. And what sort of capacity flow rate has that, um, has this setup got? On these, on the jets, it's 90 litres a minute. Okay, so what, is the Avgas slightly different? Avgas is 110 litres a minute. So in essence, the product's getting filtered twice. It is, yes. It's in, in the first time when the product's coming in and being deposited into the tank. From the tanker. Yeah, from the tanker. And then again, when it's being extracted out to go into the aircraft, it's then coming through yes. the same lines and through the filters 
Yeah, okay. And so we have we have water drains here, so these come straight out of the bottom of the filters. Yep. They can check the fuel and if there's any water in the in yep. the filters into their bucket. All stainless steel. Every single fitting is TIG welded, pressure tested, X-rayed. Um, yeah, a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work, and yeah, great bit of engineering from NQ Petro. It's been a design and drop solution, if you like. So they do all this work inside the workshop and then essentially it is picked up and this can be taken to any airfield, any location within Australia, dropped on site because it's a self-funded solution. Everything is self-contained and yeah, put it on the ground, deposit product into the tank itself and you're effectively good to go aren't you? 100%. Uh, actually power, what do we do with that? How does that? Yeah, so these will be hardwired through this termination box here. We'll come out the wall there and off to their supply, their power yeah. supply. Yeah, okay, so you'll need effectively mains power. Yep. Um, but yeah, once that's plumbed in, you're good to go. Standalone system. Yeah, okay, appreciate that Cameron. Thank you very much. And if you should have any inquiries regarding aviation tanks, don't hesitate to give us a call at FES Tanks and we can put you in touch with our various distributors around Australia. Thank you very much.